one day somebody does something unspeakable to someone else, to someone you hardly knew, man, you do something about it because you can. From New Six, Wow T, that's W O W T, family of Stephen Phipps Jr., the man killed by Omaha police during a foot pursuit over the weekend, have spoken out. Two members of North Omaha's church community sat watching Wednesday's OPD news conference as it happened, paying close attention and taking notes. Their initial reaction, best described as disappointed, quote, Mayor Stothert saying that the citizens are safe. Evidently, African-American black men are not safe in Omaha, said Pastor Portia Cavett, the president of the Interdenominational Ministerial Alliance. Pastor goes on, we know that people have a right to own guns. Why is it when a black man has a gun that the officer fears for his life? Now, Reverend Juliet Hemphill of Bethel AME Church echoed the same sentiment. Why did they have to shoot him eight times, Reverend Hemphill said. I don't understand that. Later, the two church leaders were joined by other members of the North Omaha community, including Phipps family. Quote, they said, they know they harassed him and they know what they did. That was family member Janisha Plunkett. She goes on, all we want is justice for him. Y'all can't keep running around doing this to our young boys. Y'all have everybody scared. It makes no sense in the world. He didn't deserve it. And the family says Stephen was targeted by police and he was afraid. A fear that others say is contagious in North Omaha. Quote, there's a great sadness in our community, especially among black males who are currently in fear for their lives, said Leo Lewis. He's an Omaha resident. He goes on. Oftentimes we talk about how officers are in fear for their lives, but we don't speak about the facts that every day average people are currently afraid of an interaction with the police. Now, it's a shame that there's a mother and a family grieving today, said Pastor T. Michael Williams, the president of the Omaha NAACP. He says, in my opinion, it was unnecessary. In my opinion, the young man did not need to be shot. <clears throat> now, many in the community have witnessed similar scenes over the years, just like the one that unfolded near 31st and Taylor Street a few days ago when a black man was shot by police. Things just have to change because it appears that black lives have no value, says Alvin McCruel. He's with the Interdenominational Ministerial Alliance. Pastor Cavett says there is work to be done to make things right between police and Omaha's black community in the wake of two black men being killed by police within a month. Quote, we need to look at the police procedures and the policies that they have. Yes, we have a gun problem, but that is not the African-American community's problem. That's a national problem, says Pastor Cabot. <clears throat> she goes on. But in Omaha, we have a police-involved shooting problem. Now, Pastor Cabot says they are hosting a town hall meeting at Clare Memorial United Methodist Church. Uh, that... <clears throat> is happening Sunday to allow the community to share their feelings and concerns about police shootings. And I'm going to get my naysayers. I'm going to get my critics who go, oh, why are you throwing a race car? See, you're making it a race thing. You're the blitz about black man. Why you got to be a black man? Why can't it be a man was shot by police? Because it's in our face, man. I could say, Another man was shot by police, yada, yada, yada. Okay, that's great. But as these people in, in Omaha or Nebraska are saying, it's black men. It's people of the black community that are being targeted, so to speak, or profiled. And now people are going to, they do. Every time I, I do a story like this, people, I get the commenters that go, why I got to be black man? Why can't it just be a man? Because we, like when I'm in San Bernardino, <clears throat> And I'm just telling you what I see. I'm not trying to make this stuff up. But the majority, over 50, maybe even 
of the people I see pulled out of their car and sat on a curb while the cops rumble rummage through their car, over half, over half of those drivers and passengers are of the black community. I mean, maybe they're pulling out white people that I don't see. But it's interesting to me that over half of the people I see sitting on a curb while cops go to their car are of the black community. I'm not saying they're profiling, but you can only testify to what you see, right? I'm not committing perjury. You know, isn't there a... a song that says can i have a witness i'm a witness people in omaha nebraska are witnesses what's holding you back from testifying 